Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys two Keepa features that not a lot of people know about, or at least beginners might not know about them. I definitely didn't know about them when I first started and for at least a good year of using Keepa. So I'm going to show you guys these two features that will definitely help you a lot. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is if ever you have a listing that has multiple variations, what can you do with Keepa? to determine which variation is actually selling. That's what I'm gonna show you. So basically, if you didn't know, if there's multiple variations, typically the data that you see here can be shared between multiple variations. So it's not always for one. Sometimes it will say over here, likely shared between multiple variations on the listing. But if you really wanna be sure that, for example, this variation is the one that's selling, what you need to do is go to the tab called variations. On this tab, it's actually going to tell you which of the variations sells the most. And this is just by using which product has the most reviews. So they're looking at each variation's reviews and then they're basically just assuming, okay, well, the product that has the most reviews is probably the one that sells the most. So they're using this logic based off of the reviews. And so in this situation, it's this one here, which is the original one, which sells 53% of the time. So if, for example, you're going to sell one of these, you want to aim to sell the original one because this is the one that's actually selling the most. These ones sell like 15% of the time, 26%, 7%, but this is really the winner of all of the variations. And there will be a little trophy next to it showing you. So if ever you find any listings that have multiple variations, be sure to check the variations tab to ensure that your variation is selling enough. All right, guys. So the next feature from Keepa that I'm going to be showing you is under data and buy box statistics. So this one is very important as well when it comes to competition. So the number of competition definitely matters when you're analyzing a product, but the quality of the competition is even more important. Who are these sellers? How many reviews do they have? That's what you want to look at. If you are a brand new seller with no reviews, it's going to be hard for you to compete with somebody, for example, that has 2,900 reviews. So you want to check over here and see who is winning the highest percentage of sales. In this situation, the person that's winning the most sales is this seller here who has 40% of the buy box rotations, which makes sense because if you look at the amount of reviews they have, it makes sense. So this is just a way to kind of avoid listings that are being dominated by big sellers. Sometimes you'll see a listing where it says 99% buy box one by one person. And if ever you see that situation where it's literally one guy or one girl who's winning, let's say 90, 99% of the buy box, honestly, it's gonna be really hard to compete with them. If you have a similar amount of reviews compared to that person, go ahead. But for example, if you have only, let's say 50 reviews and it says 99% percentage one from this person here who has almost 3000 reviews, it's very unlikely that you're going to have a lot of chances to win the buy box against them. And it doesn't mean that you can't sell on those listings. You can still try, but it's going to be a lot harder for you to compete against them. So if ever you're looking at the, so if ever you're analyzing the competition on a listing and you see that the sellers have a lot of reviews, go check the buy box statistics percentage that those people are winning. And if ever the number is too high for you to have a chance and your reviews are nowhere near their amount of reviews, honestly, just skip that product. But this tool will really help you avoid listings that you're gonna really have trouble selling on. And so that's pretty much it, guys. I know this video was incredibly short, but I just wanted to make like an updated Keepa video showing you guys some other features that I didn't show in the original video. So if you guys wanna watch the original video, I'll link it down below. But I hope that this video helps you as a little add-on with how to use Keepa and just some extra features that you may not have known about. So if it was helpful, please like this video and subscribe for more Amazon content. I will see you guys in the next video.